I know I talk a lot about being chained to the chair and becoming unchained to the chair, but what I want to tell you, I cut hair in prison for sodas and snacks, three cents an hour. And I've cut hair in the salons 12, 14 hours a day. My legs would hurt. My neck would hurt. My back would hurt. My knees, my feet. I would have to lay in the bed with my legs propped up because I had been behind this chair for so long. I did not want to die an old man behind this chair. I felt like I was chained and handcuffed to this chair. And I knew that the school would unleash me and free me from that. Um, I didn't want to live working 12, 14 hours a day, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays for the rest of my life because I had to work Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. If I didn't work Thursday, Friday, and Saturday behind this chair, some bills weren't going to get paid. And I was wondering what could I do to free myself from being behind this chair, from being bent over in the shampoo bowl. I didn't know what I was going to do. But the school blueprint, it helped me come from behind this chair. Now, I've been licensed 31 years, and I was a school owner for 19 years before I retired. So I've basically been in the school industry for 22 years. I was trained under Miss Velma DeMumbrin, who was my mentor. Uh, she was 71 years old. She'd been in the industry over 50 something years. And my vision, goal is to help a thousand people come from behind this chair, come from break these chains, generational curses, and start opening a school. Now, a lot of people ask, well, how do you open a school if you don't know how? You don't know where to start. You don't have a lot of money. What am I going to do? Well, this is what you do. Start out small. Do the bare minimum. When I opened my school back in 1998, I opened in the hood in a raggedy building, raggedy shopping center. Paid my first and last month's rent. State board rules, I did the bare minimum. My mentor, Ms. Velma, she said, Chin, just get open. Follow the state board rules and regulations. Go down the list. Check it. I said, well, what's the best building and location? She said, Chin, one that you can afford for three years. Why three years? Because that's record time you can get your financial aid and your grants. So you need something that you can afford, that where you can work behind this chair, and pay those bills where if your students don't have any money, they can put a, at least a low down payment and a low monthly payment and you can let them start. Even if they don't have any money, if they don't have money, you've already got kits that you bought for the school. Give them this kit. Let them give you their ID and let them check that kit out and go on the clinic floor that you have set up for them and let them do clinic services, cut hair and style hair, braid hair. I said, why? If they don't have money, she said, because Chin, only you get paid the school owner. Commission is 100% you the school owner, 0% the student. Imagine if you have 10 students, y'all, working on your clinic floor and none of them are paying. That's like having a big barber beauty salon with 10 barbers, stylists, nail techs, estheticians working on the floor all day long and the only person that gets paid is you. That's better than a shop. What's, hey, commission in the shop is 60-40, 70-30, or 50-50. So imagine you having this school with 10 barbers, stylists, nail techs, estheticians, uh, natural hair people, and you're the only person that gets paid. Do you remember when you was in school? I remember. I did hair all day long on the clinic floor. They only had to give us an hour theory a day, and they didn't give us that hour theory at the school that I went to. They didn't teach us anything. So it's up to you to change that. Change the dynamics. Change your community. You can open up a school. Stop thinking big like you can't do that. 
Quit looking at the franchise schools. Start small. Heck, there are schools that were cheaper to start than a salon. Now, let's compare the two. A salon versus a school. Imagine, I open a shop. I'm in this shop right here, okay? I got 10 chairs. You just say 10 stylists or barbers in my shop. I'm only getting booth rent or commission. Or the commission is probably, like I said, 50, 50, 60, 40, 70, 30. Every time we sell products, if we sell a product, um, who, who's going to get the money? If I sell this product right here, this product right here in a shop, the shop owner is going to get some of the money and the barber, stylist, nail tech, esthetician, whoever's working in there is going to get a percentage. In a school, 100% of the money is going to you, the school owner. Vending machine, 100% of the money. In a school, you got them students working on the floor. All the money that comes in the school, where does that go? Who gets that money? You do, the school owner. 100% of it, plus you, you, you are doing hair behind this chair, doing your clients, charging them a regular price. Okay, State Board walks in. You got students standing beside this chair watching you. You're just doing a demonstration of look and learn. Ain't nothing State Board can do. Three years pass. You join the school blueprint. All your paperwork is in compliance. You become accredited in record time. Now you're in position to get the $10,000. Now let's go over to the school. We've Imagine we've opened our school. Guess what we've done? Now, we're in our office, sit down all day. We walk around a little bit to tell the students what to do, show them how to do stuff. And now you're in position because you're accredited and you're getting the $10,000. $10,000 in Pell Grant per student. Imagine getting this. Imagine getting this wired to your bank account for each student, $10,000. Pell Grant, no one has to pay that back. Now, if you do the student loan program, you can get another 16, 17,000. Now you're charging 20, 25,000 like some of the major schools out there. Imagine you getting two of these, two of these, two of these, okay? Imagine that. Think about that. And all you got to do is train the students. That's how the school works, okay? If you have questions about this, click that link. We'll hop on the call and we'll talk about it because the school is where it's at. I had a school for 19 years. Did 17 million in grant money. Yes, I did. Then I was able to go into real estate, but my goal is to help you. We got school owners all over the United States. I know a lot of y'all been watching. I know y'all watch me. I know y'all look at the people on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. I know you reach out to them. We keep continue to reach out to them, but it's your time. We regret going to 2021. The question is, what you going to do? Okay, COVID's here. Okay, what if they shut down the salons again? What are you going to do? What, what are you going to do? What are the schools doing? The schools are doing stuff online now for the first time in history. Now schools can offer hours and classes online. Never in the history of the beauty industry have they allowed school owners to do school online. No, well, they're gonna continue to rock and roll and the government's gonna to continue to send them money. Now, this is the best time to have a school. Why? Because the students don't have to go to school. Half of them don't wanna to come to school anyway. Now they can sit at home. They can sit at home right in front of their computer and get hours. Where are they doing that at? This is the best time, I'm telling y'all. So if you're interested in opening a school, becoming a credit, getting government money so you can become financial freedom, time freedom, then contact me. If you're not interested and you know someone that is or that might be, tell them to contact me and let's hop on the call for a free strategy call and let's see where they're at. So this is Billionaire Barber. Hopefully you all learned something. Click that link and let's get busy.